Well, Tom's here now, which means the sport and, of course, the East Anglian derby on Sunday. Yeah, Nelson Oliveira certainly stirred things up this week, didn't he, by claiming Norwich are the better club. I mean, City certainly have had the better of it of late, both in the derby and with their time in the Premier League, but historically, of course, Ipswich will see on Sunday. Well, uh, <laughs> indeed, yeah, I mean, they'll point to their, you know, their, their League Cup triumph, their League triumph and, their, and the various cup successes. So, yeah, all to play for. Same old debate every year. This season's derby looks like being another tasty affair. For the supporters, it's the highlight of the season, and Sunday will be a real treat for one young fan. Go you're going in front of us. Yeah. The build-up to Derby Day is always special. This week, extra special for one young man. Luke Chambers, the Ipswich captain. I'm looking for Bobby. Where's Bobby? I've heard about his story, raising loads of money. A surprise visit. The skipper popped into St John's Primary to present seven-year-old Bobby Lancaster with a shirt, tickets and the exciting news he'd be leading the teams out on Sunday as the club's community champion. Didn't want to overawe him with the situation uh, with everyone in the class that were looking at him, but he's handled it brilliantly and he's such a lovely little boy that it's great that us as a football club can sort of build these relationships with people in the community and hopefully build the next generation of fans for the future. I want you to pass it back to me and then I want you to join the back of the queue. Bobby ran 20 miles, raising £500 for Ipswich Hospital where his sister's having treatment. This will be his first derby, in fact his first live game. His hero might hope for a slightly gentler workout against Norwich. He's the captain of the team and he's my favourite player. Yeah, tell us who you brought with you. Captain Canaries, yeah. 45 miles from Norwich to Ipswich, this fan has travelled 6,000. All the way from Hong Kong, David Lee is a lifelong Canary lover, coinciding his trip with the derby. I think we are still in a good form after I arrived because I'm a bit of jinx before. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we, we can do it this time. We can do it. Get a win. <laughs> Eight months since they last met, the sides drew one all at Carrow Road, as they did at Portman Road just over a year ago. But it's been eight games and eight years since Norwich were last beaten. It sums up what, what's happening in the last year. It's showing that Norwich has been better than, than Ipswich, and we just want to, to make sure that it continues like that. The table shows there's little between them. Norwich's draw last week saw them climb above Ipswich for the first time. City are in better form, unbeaten since August. Town have lost three of their last four. A derby is a do-or-die situation. I, I think it's a little bit um, away from the normal um, league games and uh, you don't have to take care so much uh, for the table in this, um, uh, in this game. And I think there's no favourite. I don't want bad tackles, I don't want people getting booked and sent off. That's quite clearly not the objective in, in being fired up. We want to be fired up. We want to be, to be able to concentrate and keep you calm. It's Daniel Farker's first East Anglian derby, Mick McCarthy's sixth. But who'll be first to toast victory? A full programme elsewhere. Loot in the country 